Today I'm going to talk about a project that I built for my girlfriend and it's an OCR invoice project. So here's the problem. So basically she has a lot of customer and every time a customer send her this kind of photo right here. So she need to convert from this photo into the invoice and send back to the customer. So basically we have this image and it's convert into something like this. So as you can see, we have the price of the photo of the product. We have the title and then she going to calculate the total as well. If we have more than one product, right? So as you can see on the photo product right here, we have the price and the title. And so the problem is that when the customer send her, let's like say 10 product of this send 10 photo of this one. So basically she's open one of the photos and then she manually type out the price right here and she going to manually type out the photo as well so you can see the headache right here right when when there's a lot of image right here when there's a lot of products so she's going to open from one tab and then go and type out and it's going to be burnout out and it's not an easy process so this is for one customer only and then if she have like a hundred customer or like yeah you can imagine like it's really painful for this process and so that's why she asked me can i do some things about it is there anything i can do so so like okay let's give it a try and build an ocr project because basically what i'm going to do is going to read the data from this image and generate an invoice so this is the result that i built and let me show you what it's look like and so this is really simple the ui is not looking really good but it worked so basically she can select the photo right here she can select one or multiple so i'm going to show you i can select two of the photo right here and so as you can see uh, this is like the preview of the product so when it selects it's going to do the reading of the product as you can see maybe it's a little bit small right here but it's gonna extract like the price and then also we adding the fee to it as well and she can adjust the quantity of the products if they buy more than one and so yeah basically that pretty much it so she can check it one double check if it's correct and then she can just click generate invoice and it can be something like this this is like the template that she sent to her customer and so basically she can just copy this one and that's it and then she can just send the customer this invoice right here so this is save a ton of work and compared to previous before open an image and type it out and she can adding more image right here as well so for example and some image can be take longer than the other for example this image right here it take longer because as you can see the image right here has a lot of text so i need to extract the information that is needed so basically the the price and the title right here which you can see here after that we can generate the product again it's gonna invoice again it's gonna look something like this so it's a really fun project and it solves her problem which i glad it worked out and so right now let's talk about the technology that i'm using so basically i'm using next.js for this web uh web app right here you can use just react as well and then for the important part is the library that be able to do and um, reading the extracting the data from the image is using the tesseract.js so the important part with this one is that Tesseract can run either on a browser or on the Node.js, which is really important because this web application right here does not need any like database or anything. So once you refresh, it's gone. And so you can just start fresh. So it's really good. Uh, it's really lightweight. And because we do not have like, you know, the build time to build is really easy as well. So basically we should we just everything inside of just a front end. There's no need to connect to the back end because this library is, is handle everything for us. And so what I need just extract the data and then pass it and then it's good to go. But this one, this project right here, it's tailored to the product to this image only. So and it's tailored to this kind of image only. If you like for example, upload different image, it's going to crash because my regex is not gonna work because my regex is gonna just, okay, gonna extract this one and this one only. So there's gonna be a problem there. Uh, so that's all the technology that I'm using and it's for a really fun project. So I think this is, has a lot of potential. And so as you can see with this technology, it's really easy to do. And so we can build more than just of this project. So for example, we can extend this one. And for example, you have the receipts and then you can transform that into like a, data, a table inside your web application. I, I don't know, just 
uh maybe an idea for the next project but yeah so this is the project that i built so let me know in the comments what do you think about this project and all right so see you in the next video